Hello guys, this is the Free to Play Dude and welcome again for another video in Epic 7. Now, today I'm gonna react to the new two heroes that are gonna be coming soon in the game and uh, they are the Samurai Syria and the Angelic Angelica, something like that. And the stream is starting in less than one minute, so I'm gonna see you soon. <laughs> guys, what is this? <laughs> There's a volleyball oh, mini like game. Oh, here, here she is. It's He's coming. Hot, humid, and noisy here. But I never did like the sea. Wow. <laughs> I'm putting an end to this. Oh, she's gonna be water. Ever since we arrived. What? Yeah, she's a fire ranger, guys. Another ranger. Wow, she looks so cool. Let's keep going. Okay, here are the stats. 115 speed. That's really fast. Effectiveness, 30%. Effectiveness, imprint concentration. So she's gonna be at the buffer. And uh, she has high attack too. 1200. That's kind of high. Hmm. This is already interesting. See the skills? Okay, this is the skill 2. We start from skill 2. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, this is kind of a passive, right? So, she doesn't spend any souls to soul burn for the first time. And uh, she cannot crit, but also increases her attack by 20%. And uh, after another ally attacks all enemies, so she activates Suppress. Can only be activated once every 3 turns. And uh, with Suppress, you're gonna increase combat readiness of all allies by 15% and plant a bomb on two random enemies. So you can kind of use her with any AoE attack as kind of a combat trainers booster. So she can be even used in cleaves probably. Like imagine using her with Pavel. Pavel is gonna S2, she's gonna boost everyone by 15% and uh, you don't even need Sidom to do that. You can even use her with Cerise. Okay, let's see. Wow. Oh, yeah. But she gets countered by the Politis. It's, uh, it's a non-attack skill, so... It's not a passive. You just activate the skill. Hmm. Now, this is the skill 1. This is an attack that has a 75% chance to dispel 2 buffs. And with the Soul Burn... 20 souls though, it's gonna guarantee an extra turn. So basically you can just cycle a free turn. How can you use this? Yeah, we need to see the skill tree first. Okay, this is the skill tree. Okay, so this is a three turn cooldown. She's gonna attack everyone, decreasing attack and increasing air speed for two turns. And uh, at the end of her turn, she's gonna detonate any bombs on the enemy. And uh, I think the bombs are the same as the other guy, I don't remember the name, the Leo. So she's gonna probably even stun the two enemies with the bombs, I think. And uh, with a 3 turn cooldown, you can then burn the turn after with the S1. And then it's gonna basically be a 1 turn cooldown skill. <laughs> Let's see. What? Yeah, you are gonna stun, but look at the damage. <laughs> 22k, 10k on a maid. This is a cleave monster, guys. Wow. <laughs> Basically, you probably build her on effectiveness and speed. You pair her with a super fast hero like Cerise, probably is the best one, or even Pavel. But with Cerise, you can strip the immunity and then she can plant bombs push the whole team, push herself too, and then she can proc the bombs, stun everyone, and do this quantity of damage. <laughs> wow, guys. Oh, she looks insane already. Oh, and the artifact. Oh, okay. This makes sense with the skill 1 burn. So, when she attacks and she doesn't crit, only with single target attacks, She's gonna plant another bomb for two turns on the target, so... So maybe that's why she does insane damage on the Cecilia there, because uh, she had two bombs planted. Looks like a bomb is gonna do like 10k damage, it's crazy. I think you should use this artifact, probably. 
Wow, she looks insane, guys. I'm so hyped. <laughs> I'm probably gonna SSS imprint her. So they're talking about bombs, and uh, they're saying the stun of the bomb ignore effect resistance. So the only way to avoid that is to be cleansed, but the Aceria is just gonna proc that instantly. Uh, you're gonna AoE, plant the bomb with the S2, and then she's gonna S3 and proc the bomb. Wow. She can even work with this guy. All the clicking from I mean, he's an initiator, he's also gonna give attack buff to the whole team. So, if you buff Iceria attack and she plant bombs, they're gonna do even more damage. So, yeah, this could be a decent combo. Oh, here comes the Angelica. At least to you it will. Is she gonna be a 4 star? Yeah! <laughs> Angel of Light Angelica, so yeah, I knew this. So they did the Sinful Angelica, which is the dark version, and now they are doing the light version, so we are gonna have 3 4 star Angelica, guys. And looks like the S3 is a damage skill. Let's see, ooh, she's kind of fast to be an Angelica, 112 speed, alright, uh, the HP is kind of low, ooh, uh, she's a mage, she's not a soul weaver, that's why the HP are low, she's a decent defense, wow, she's a mage, alright, decent effectiveness, decent effect resistance, effectiveness, concentration, yeah, let's keep going. Here comes the skills. So, this is the skill 2. A counter cleave, please no. Okay, so she's immune to stun. And uh, if you attack an ally, she's gonna get 8% combat readiness for each ally attack. So, if you do an AoE, she's gonna get 24% combat readiness. And she's gonna cut with that speed. And... Uh, after you attack also all allies, she has a 75% chance that is gonna be 100% chance to activate Guardian Angel and she's gonna dispel one buff from all allies and grant skill nullifier. I think the skill nullifier is only for her. I hope so. Let's see. Wait, what? She grants skill nullifier to everyone. Ah, oh, these things kill cleaves, guys. There's no way you can cleave something like this. And there are already so many counters to cleave. Why? Why would you do this? So, try to imagine, you need to initiate the fight, right? So, you need to have an initiator and uh, you can choose something between... Ceres, Bazaar, Operator Secret, Faithless Lydica, and they are all area damage dealers. And she's gonna cleanse the debuff you put, so the Bazaar cannot stop this. And she's gonna give skill nullifier, so your damage dealer is gonna do nothing. How is this fair? Cleaves are officially dead, guys. And I'm a cleaver, so I'm fucked now. <laughs> Why? Ah. Oh. Let's keep going, guys. Uh, this is so painful to watch. Let's see the skill tree too. So, oh man. <laughs> okay, so she's also aggressive. She's gonna dispel two buffs from all enemies. And then she's gonna have an 100% chance to make them unable to be buffed and silencing them for one turn. So, like Bazaar plus silence. Why? Why? She's OP and she even counters things like Maid Chloe and it's a 4 turn cooldown so it's not even that long and this hero is broken. Why? This is a broken super hero. Okay, skill 1. She's gonna have a 75% chance to silence the enemy for one turn and uh, if the enemy is silenced before the attack she's gonna decrease his combat readiness by 25% and the soul burn is only gonna increase the effect chance to 100% but uh, 75 is uh, already okay even considering you're gonna silence them with the S3 too 
so they are already silenced man this is kind of nice too these skills 25% is a lot I mean, this hero is a must pull, guys. I don't know what they were thinking, but uh, this is broken, guys. Okay, we have time till September 9 to play RTA, guys. After that, it's just gonna be a pain. And there you have it. I was expecting the Iceria to be the stronger one. So maybe you can use the Iceria to counter this girl. Maybe in some way. So let's say you use the new Iceria with the Bazaar, right? So you push them back and uh, she's gonna cleanse the unbuffable but then the ice here is gonna plant the bombs so you can even burn with this one plant another bomb and then you can just s3 and explode them and uh, you don't even care about the skill nullifier because uh, the bombs are gonna do the damage so maybe that's a way to counter her but uh, you need a true hero combo to counter this girl and uh, it's not even that hard of a counter and I think that's it for the patch. Yeah. Uh, I hate this game.